the V Trades technical analysis course is now live. Learn to read the chart the right way to prevent costly mistakes. Click the link below to start training now. What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Starbucks with the ticker symbol SBUX. This was a viewer's request and thank you for your donation. If you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Also take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate it very much. This video is for entertainment purposes only. It does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over whatever over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So here we have the daily chart for Starbucks. It's been in a uptrend since May of this year. And it looks like we're starting to see some downside uh, for this stock because we were a little bit overextended and we did see a breakout of this $90 price level. Uh, so it's looking like it wants to fall back to retest this level before continuing higher. So overall, we did see almost two legs up. You can see this was the first leg up right here. And this is the second leg up and prices almost reached the 106 level. It just got rejected from the 105 level. Uh, but also this is also a measure move right here too. So this leg up and if you drag it over, we did meet this measure move. So not the bigger one, but the smaller one we did meet. Uh, so I believe we're going to be seeing lower prices. It's not a good sign that we broke through the EMA. Um, again, we could go up if we break a back above the EMA and reach the uh, 102 level then that's a good sign that we're gonna see a new high of this uptrend and probably the measure move target hit. Now we can still go up and get rejected from the uh, $100, $100 level, even the 101. So that's when I'm that's when, that's why I'm not saying it's bullish even if we go up that high. I'm looking for the 102 level uh, for a confirmation that we're gonna be seeing um, higher prices. As right now, we could see a pullback, maybe even not that high. Most likely we're just gonna see a slight pullback and another leg down, filling these gaps that were created from this breakout. Uh, prices are looking like it wants to fall down to that $90 level. So that's the target I'm, I'm eyeing right now. That's what it looks like it wants to do. It wants to fall down to fill in this move up. And most likely it's still going to continue higher. This is the weekly chart for Starbucks. Uh, you can see that every time we see an up move, we see a crash down. So we had an up move right here. Crash down, up move, crash down. Now we're in the formation of the up move. So even though we're seeing this pullback take place, I believe we're going to be seeing higher prices for Starbucks, probably even new all-time high, maybe next year or in the next few years. So it's looking like it wants to pull back. You see this three consecutive weeks of red, uh, so lower prices. This week is probably going to be no exception. Uh, things are looking bullish for the SPY and other stocks. Uh, but again, this is doesn't mean this has to trade the same way as other stocks. So it's looking like it wants to come back to this EMA or at least very at the very least trade sideways so the EMA can catch up because we are extended. If not, we're going to see a retest of this breakout level at that $90 level. So I'm targeting that from there. There's a good chance we see a bounce in higher prices. So I don't think this uptrend is over. It does look like prices want to continue to trend higher and looking like it wants to just pull back uh, to the low 90s. Uh, so that's all I have for Starbucks on the daily and weekly chart. Basically, it's still looking bullish. But again, in the next couple of weeks or months, we're going to see a pullback to the low 90s. Now, we should get a bounce there and that will lead to higher, higher prices, uh, at least back up to the 106 level, maybe even the all time highs. Now, let's say we don't do that. Let's say we break the $90 level. Well, I need to see prices reach probably the $88 level to see confirmation we're going lower, probably to the 83 or even the $69 level. So uh, we do have some wiggle room. Prices could trade down to the $89 level, but if we break that $88 level with conviction, there's a good chance we're gonna be seeing the low 80s and then even lower. So uh, those are my targets for Starbucks. That's what can play out. And that's all I have for Starbucks as of right now. So let's take a look at the monthly chart to wrap it all up. Again, here's the monthly chart. You can see it's a very bullish stock since 2009. I can do an uptrend. You can see that prices come back to this trend line and get a nice move up. So since we bounced off the trend line, it looks like prices are targeting the opposite side, but we're not gonna go up without a pullback. So it's looking like it wants to pull back first and then we see a move higher. So uptrend is still intact. We're just seeing a pullback occur. Uh, so that's all I have for Starbucks this week. If, thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also, share the video with a bunch of friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to de deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.